Hi guys, Terry here. Hey, I'm getting ready to go on vacation. So I'm flying down to see my mom for her birthday. She turns 80 later this week. So I'm excited for her. Can't wait to see her. And uh, when I get back, I'm gonna be going to a crop, a weekend crop with um, some scrapbooking friends. And I think for that, I am going to work on uh, cards. So what I was thinking about doing was taking the uh, sheet load of um, sheet load of cards. You've heard me talk about that before. I'm going to take the last few months um, because the August one just came out yesterday. And I'm going to do the August one and the July one and the June one. And I think what I'm going to do is um, just make up, you know how she always describes on there what, um, how many card stock, how many sheets of card stock you need, and then how many pattern uh, papers you need. Um, I'm going to just kit those up and then have those to take with me to make, to make cards. So um, I need birthday cards and thank you cards and uh, stuff like that. So um, I'll grab some stamps that have those sentiments and then I'll be ready to, uh, to make cards. So let me show you how I put those kits together. Hey, I forgot to mention those flowers that were in the shot when I was speaking there are from my, from my husband. He is such a sweetheart. Um, I was having a bad day and he got me those and I really appreciate him. Um, so to get started, I went to um, Alicia's uh, Call Me Crafty YouTube channel and I went to her June and her July and her recently August one and I downloaded her um, sketches. And what's wonderful about what she does is she not only gives you an image of the card and all the directions and measurements, but she also provides what supplies you need. So I can quickly print these up and then see what I need. So she talks about this one being eight card bases, um, a card stock, some little card stock for matting the color and then a couple of um, each of the pattern 12 by 12 sheets oh no no these are 6 by 6 so this is really nice it's nice when she uses up the 6 by 6 paper too so she's all about using what's in your stash and then she's got these cut for the uh, sentiment that's on there and it doesn't have to be a circle if you have something else you can put uh, you know you can make the cards your own um, she asks that you use the hashtags so that uh, we can find each other's ideas. I love that. And then she also gives some alternatives. And also, if you just want to make one card, she says, here's how to do this. So I have these in a notebook where I've um, kept, uh, she's been doing this for a few years now. So I have all of her past months in a book. So you can flip through them and say, oh, I want to make this card and then see the dimensions for just one. So, but it is handy to make, um, usually her kits make, um, sometimes they make 12, like here the July one makes 12 cards. And I think it just works out to, you know, how the dimensions work um, on the paper when she works out and does all the math for you. So love that. And then, like I said, she's always got um, a really cute image on here. And then on her channel, she shows throughout the month how she uh, how she uh, designed it and how she uh, makes suggestions for um, you know using contrasting paper and and what cardstock to use for it. So the August one makes eight cards. So just love it. Um, she's full of ideas. And um, she always gives handy tips. And then at the end of the month, she shows what um, people created. So she's got a team of uh, Instagrammers and YouTuber, YouTubers and shows what they made. So really, really handy. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the card bases because that's nice and mindless. You can um, just sit here and see how many cards you're going to make for each one and then I use the uh, Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock so that it's pretty sturdy. You can cut this 8.5 by 11 in half this way or in half this way. So um, I always remind myself that the paper is 11, and a half, or is 11 wide, so that's 5.5 to cut it in half. 
and then I'll use my score pal to cut the eight and a half inch side. I'll score it at four and a quarter, and that'll make my card bases. So I'll have a stash of those. And then my next step, I think, is going to be to decide um, for the supplies that I need. I'll pull some six by six paper and then some coordinating uh, cardstock. And then, like I said, I'll have my card bases all ready. And then I can just put that together. When I pull these pieces of paper, I can just put that in the kit with my card bases and put that together. And then it's ready to go. And then depending on how much time I have before the crop, I might even, um, I could cut these. So really they're just ready to assemble. But I'll see how much time I have between now and uh, when I go to the crop. But at least to print the download, get my card bases ready, and just pull these coordinating colors, that'll help me, um, you know, be all the more ready for the crop. And then one more thing I'll suggest is if you look at the sentiments that she has on here, she has kind of a variety of shapes. So what I like to use is I take along my little uh, Sizzix. Uh, die cutter. This is called the Sidekick. I'll have links to these items that I suggest on my website in case you need anything. And the idea behind this cutter is you put the paper and the die and these pads and crank it through and then that will cut the shape that you're cutting. So I've got a set, I think these were from Stampin' Up! I've got circles, ovals, um, I think even in here I've got some squares. Yeah, here's the squares. So I have this little tin, and I take this with me to the crop so that I can cut those um, sentiments out. And, you know, there's nothing that says you have to do all circles or all ovals or the same shape on your cards. Depending on your stamp set, you may need to have, you know, something that's more... Um, horizontal or something that's smaller. Um, so if you have your dies with you, you can make those adjustments with that uh, that stamp set. So let me pull some paper and then I'll show you how I kit these. Okay, I got the paper picked out. Here's the July one. It called for um, two of the pattern paper, four sheets of one color, four sheets of another color. So this card here for July is a slimline and this opens up. So it takes a lot of um, cardstock, this background and this one. So that's cool. So here's the papers I picked for it. So I've got two colors of the eight and a half by eleven and then the white for the sentiments and then two pattern pieces of paper. So I think that's going to be cute. And then when you cut the pattern paper, sometimes the grid will be over here and sometimes the these prints will alternate when you cut the papers. So that's cute for July. Here's August. August has a lot of background paper too. So it took, let's see. Yeah, it's got two sheets for layout A, another sheet for layout B, and then uh, the sentiments are on white, and then this one here. So if you notice here on the top, it says two pattern pieces of paper, which I picked these two jelly, jelly bean papers, and then five of the solid cardstock, and then your um, card base. So here she's got four of a color, and then one for the sentiments. And then there's um, four for the eight card bases. So that's going to be my kit for August. And then for June, this was the one where she used the um, four six by six sheets. So I picked those. And then this solid cardstock. So it didn't have as much uh, paper on it. So it's got this strip here for this print, and then this is matted for that print. And that looks really good. And then I'm just going to have white card bases. She's got a pink here, but 
I'll do that on white card bases and then the sentiments. So for the sentiments, I picked these two uh, stamp sets. This was a brand new one that I got. Plentiful Plants, and I've been wanting to play with it. So I thought this could be my thank yous. This one's cute here, so I could do that in an oval. And then this one I thought was a fun one. I think this is an older set, but I really like this Happy Birthday. I think I've used it before. And um, it's just got a lot of cute. Uh, another thing to do is make up um, different uh, sentiments and have them ready to glue on your cards. And then for whatever um, you know theme you need, you could make it that day. So the last thing I'll tell you about is in my kit, I also like to take my Stampin' Chamois to wipe the stamps off, my uh, Misty for stamping on the sentiments, and then I love Versafine Black Onyx ink for just getting a really crisp, clear um, image with the stamp. And then I use my little score pal to um, score the cards in half. So it really helps to score them so you don't... Um, show creases in the paper when you fold it. So so I hope this helps. I um, hope it inspires you. I'll have links to her June, July, and August um, YouTube channel. Um, it's called Sheet Load of Cards. And then um, I think that's everything. So thanks you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. It really helps me. And I will talk to you guys when I get back from vacation. Bye now.